Bonjour and welcome to the French Riviera. Over the next couple of days, I'm gonna be taking you guys around to some of the best places to eat in the region. Right now, I'm in the little town of Menton, which is right on the French-Italian border. And so it's got a mix of French food, Italian food, and so I'm super excited to try it. Obviously, as you can tell by my voice, I've been sick for the last couple of weeks, but I'm feeling so much better now. I can taste, so let's go try some food and get into the video. So I'm heading to this really cute little market that I've just stumbled upon here in Menton. It's a fresh food market and I'm really hoping to try and grab some like charcuterie stuff, maybe a baguette to have a bit later. Um, so let's go check it out. This market is so cool. It is full of like fresh bread, it's full of cheese, fresh seafood, meats. It's so, so cool. I'm definitely literally the only person who speaks English here. It is a local French market that the, that the locals here come to to buy all their fresh food. There's no supermarket here in Menton. It's just all little fresh food stores, which I think is amazing. So I've just made a beautiful little mini baguette with the stuff that I got from the markets earlier today. I went to a place called La Fermiere and I got some salami and I asked her recommendation for a cheese because there were so many different types of cheeses there. And her first question to me was, do I want goats, sheep or cow cheese? And I had some amazing sheep cheese when I was in Portugal. So I was like, oh, I'll go for a, a sheep cheese and I just asked which one she recommended and she pointed out this like really creamy looking one um, and I think it's kind of like a brie but with sheep cheese um, made of sheep's milk and yeah on this cute little baguette the baguette itself it was it, it's a giant one so I've just made a small a small portion um, and the baguette was only one euro and forty cents and the meats and cheese and I got like a whole block of cheese was only like five euros so I can have multiple meals for like six euros which is amazing if you're in the Cote d'Azur on a budget so let's give this a, a go mm. oh my god mm. the salami is like it's pretty good I did have better salami in Marseille, but that cheese is amazing. I think I might even go back and buy another block of it to take back with me to Nice, because that is so good. Oh my God, wow. I'm gonna enjoy this and uh, I'll catch up with you guys a little bit later. So I've come to this really cute little restaurant here in Menton in France, which is on the French-Italian border. And I've actually come to an Italian restaurant. This place is known for Italian food, also some French food, but there's definitely a lot more Italian restaurants here than there are French restaurants. So the one I've come to is in one of the little back streets called Little Italy, which I think is a very fitting name given the region that we're in. And I have ordered a Taglio 
Telly with scampi and king prawns, which I am so excited to try because we're right on the coast, so the seafood's gonna be fresh and amazing, and I cannot wait to try it. They gave me a little bit of bruschetta, which I am very excited to try. So I'll show it to you here. And I didn't even ask for it, they just gave it to me, which is so Italian. And then I've actually ordered a tagliatelle with scampi and king prawns, which I am super excited to try. But let's just have a taste of this, this bruschetta. It looks like it's got uh, fresh tomatoes and some oregano on it. <laughs> that was not what I was expecting. That is amazing. It's warm, so obviously it's been like freshly toasted. The bread is like insane. I know the French know how to do bread, but the Italians also know how to do bread. So the combo of the two, it's amazing. And there's definitely a lot of garlic on there, which I love. I love garlic. Mm. So I'm very excited to see what my pasta looks like very soon. So I've just received my pasta and it looks amazing guys. So this is it here. I've got some uh, scampi on it and uh, let's give this a taste, shall we? Oh my god, that is amazing. That is like, it's so creamy. Mm. The seafood is fresh, it's delicious, and <laughs> I'm like not very often lost for words, but um, wow, wow is all I can say right now. This is so delicious. There's also some um, fresh fresh tomatoes and um, some some parsley there too so it's really really good so I'm gonna enjoy this and I'll uh, see you guys a little bit later so I've got a little bit here with a prawn and this sauce is like a seafood bisque and it is packed full of flavor and so delicious so let's try it with a bit of prawn Guys, this makes me just so happy. Honestly, if I can give you one tip, it is 100% to come to the town of Menton. I've completely fallen to the town. It's only a 40 minute train ride from uh, Nice, or probably even only 30 minutes, but it is the best town in the French Riviera in my opinion and I definitely think you should come check it out come to Little Italy here go to the markets and um, we'll keep exploring this little town So I've just come to this insane nougat store here in Menton and it was amazing but like super expensive. I did not realize how much it was until after he'd already like cut it, wrapped it. It does store for up to a year though so that's not too bad but I did get a, a, a bit of a block of the nougat and it cost me 48 euros which Ugh, it's a bit like that's a lot of money, but it does taste amazing. So nougat's actually made with just honey and egg whites. That's what this 
man's family makes. It's all made by his dad and they've got all different flavored ones that he let me try. I had a lavender one. I had a caramel one, which is the one I ended up buying. They had like Nutella, like all these different flavors, but I will show you. It is really like, it is so like chewy, delicious, soft, nothing like anything that I've ever had in Australia. So it is actually just delicious. Um, Mm. That was so funny. Mm. It's so good. It's hilarious though because the guy goes, Oh, there's no sugar in it. But it's made with honey. So like there's obviously sugar in it. But I think what he means is there's no like added sugar or like processed refined sugar. It's just made with honey. So it's delicious. If you can afford to splurge, I definitely would recommend checking it out or asking for a small slice i just didn't think to keep whittling it down because i had no idea how much it was going to cost me but at least it can store for up to a year out of the fridge so that's always good to know I've just come to this super cute bakery called La Brioche Shard here in the main street of Nice um, because it's a public holiday today and nothing else is open but I did manage to find an almond croissant which I haven't tried while I've been here in France and back home in Australia they're one of my favorites so um, I'll give you a bit of a bit of a look at it um, but this is it this is it here so it looks it looks really good. It feels quite uh, crispy, which I don't know how I feel about, but we'll give it a go. Oh yeah. It's been kept in a refrigerator. So it's cold, but the flavor is phenomenal. I think I would try and find something that was warmer so it tasted a bit more fresh, but it's still really good. So I'm here at the Marcel Bistro and unfortunately they don't have cockavan here tonight um, but they do have their specialty which is a local beef stew with a gnocchi so I decided to get that and I got some escargot to try um, so I can't wait to see what it is when it gets here and I'm not going to lie I'm a little bit nervous about escargot but hopefully it is good but we shall see. Okay, so my snails are here and I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit nervous. Um, I, I don't know how I feel about this, but if you wanna have a look at it here, look, I mean, it doesn't look, it doesn't look unappealing. It smells very garlicky, very buttery, so let's see how we go. <laughs> I mean, I don't hate them, but I don't love them either. They're kind of like, they're a little bit chewy. They just taste like garlic and butter, but I probably wouldn't order it again, but I don't hate it, put it that way. But I am really looking forward to the beef stew in a moment. So I've eaten about two of the snails and I don't think I can eat it anymore. They're kind of like, they're really chewy. They're kind of gross and I definitely won't be ordering them again, but I do recommend you still try them when you come to France because 
it is good to try different things and um, I'm still glad that I had the experience of trying it, but it's just not for me. This looks incredible. It smells so, so good. Um, it's got gnocchi, it's got, um, I think it's got some carrot in it too. It looks like there's some parsley on the top and there is, the beef looks like it's been like slow cooked in this stew for hours because I literally just pierced it with my fork and it just fell apart. But this is some of it here and you can see it's just melting. Yeah, so let's try every individual component and uh, see how it tastes. This is what I imagine when I picture French cooking. It's rich, it's decadent, it's delicious. I'll try some uh, gnocchi. I wasn't expecting gnocchi with it because uh, that's more of an Italian dish, but I guess we are kind of close to the Italian water and that's what they've done instead of putting like roast potatoes or something with it. Wow. Wow. That gnocchi is phenomenal. Very, very good. I actually think it was better than the one I got in Italy, which is saying something. And let's try some carrot. This is this is such a phenomenal dish. It makes up for the fact that I didn't really like the snails. Um, I will be smashing this, and um, I will see you guys a little bit later.